Are you suffering from severe irritable bowel symptoms, which are not improving by taking the usual treatment? In this case, your doctor might ask you to do a breath test to check for the presence of excess bacteria in your gut. This condition is called SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. My name is Dr. Amir, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Normally, there are always good bacteria in our gut. These good bacteria help digest the food we eat and get rid of the bad bacteria. Anytime, if there is an imbalance and the bad bacteria are growing faster, they will replace the good bacteria, leading to this condition, SIBO. SIBO is a condition that mainly affects the small intestines. It can happen mostly in patients with slow bowel movement or in IBS patients with chronic constipation. Also, it can happen in patients with diverticular disease or after gastric bypass surgery for weight loss. The SIBO condition might also happen in patients with inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. In addition, it can occur after taking a long course of antibiotics or using chronic PPI, which are medications to suppress the acid production from the stomach. So what are the symptoms? They are almost the same as IBS symptoms, like abdominal pain, bloating, and flatulence, with either constipation or diarrhea. Sometimes patients might have nausea, indigestion, or having feeling a fullness after eating. If you have this condition for a long time, this bacterial overgrowth can prevent the absorption of important nutrients. So you might develop certain types of vitamin deficiency like B12 or lack of iron anemia. If you suspect having this condition, especially if your IBS has gotten worse recently, ask your doctor about doing a breath test called HBT, known as hydrogen breath test. It is a long test which can last three hours. After drinking a sweet drink that contains glucose, you have to blow inside the balloon every 15 minutes. At the end, the test can confirm the presence of bacterial overgrowth or SIBO. The treatment for SIBO is to simply get the balance back of our gut bacteria and to get rid of the excess growth of the bad bacteria. The best antibiotic to use is called rifaximine, but it should be taken for at least 10 days. Of course, it should be combined with probiotics to restore back the good bacteria. I hope you enjoyed my topic today. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until I see you again, I would like to wish you a happy, healthy life.